How's it going everyone? So today I have in front of us two car mounts provided to us by a company called DLCA. Dosa. Dota. DLCA. Let's just go with that. And these are their car mounts. But these aren't any ordinary car mounts. These actually are both integrated with wireless key charging. So if you have a smartphone that supports it, this might be a mount that you want to pick up for your car. But after using these two for about a week now, I gotta do my part as an honest reviewer and point out all the pros and cons between these car mounts. Let's begin with the packaging. The packaging between these two boxes makes it hard to believe they're from the same company. At first glance, they're completely different from one another. But once we open up the box, the windshield style mount requires some assembly and included a few goodies. Micro USB cable, cigarette lighter to USB, three side 3M tape, huh. A vent mount if you wish to mount this on your air vent. And then the holder itself had a sticker on it with the brand logo, which I choose to peel off to give it a much more cleaner look, as well as a green sticker, which I also peeled off. And clearly we can see that it supports fast charging. Now moving on to the vent style mount, we are greeted with the wireless charging mount with the magnetic sheet that feels fairly strong, but we'll see how well it can hold our phone. It has an integrated retractable USB cable that measures 37 inches in length and will retract back by pressing the button on top. It also includes other mount options like the other mount did, such as a 3M flat surface mount that to be placed anywhere on the vehicle dash. Then we get an air vent mount that we saw on the picture. The clamp is really strong and seems it can definitely stay in place once set. So when assembling them together, I noticed the feel of the quality of the materials used on these mounts wasn't anything that amazing. When tightening the rings with the joint mount, I feared that I could have easily cracked them if I would accidentally over tighten them, just slightly. So the magnetic sheet that's used on the vent mount is unfortunately not the best choice. It's not clear and has an odd pattern design. And if you're someone like me who rocks a clear case to see the beauty of the phone, this could be a deal breaker since it's always going to mess up the look. But if you're using like a regular standard black case, this shouldn't be an issue. But my complaint that I have against this, I wish they did use a clear plastic material that's better in quality than this because all this really is is just two sheet of plastic glued together holding four magnetic circles allowing the Q charger to travel through since they can't use a plate because metal plates don't support wireless charging. Now I've seen other mounts around the same price point using like magnetic rings or metal rings instead allowing the key charger to go through. So once placed and set up in my car, I faced a ton of issues with this vent style mount compared to this traditional windshield mount. This thing will sometimes decide not to charge my phone. I also tried swapping it out with multiple different cases thinking that could have been an issue, but unfortunately it wasn't. Then after doing a bit of research, looked on Amazon, some other consumers were experiencing the same issue where no matter how the phone is placed, it still wouldn't charge. The windshield style mount, I never experienced this. It would always charge once my phone was placed. But now when it comes to the driving experience, the pivoting position on both mounts are good and can be easily adjusted to view your phone screen if using navigation. Just be cautious if you pick this windshield style mount because if you drive a coupe or a car that has like a forward slanting windshield like mine, you'll find it difficult to place this in a comfortable position. But thanks to that powerful suction cup that this mount has, this thing could be easily placed on any flat surface on the vehicle which in my case, I placed it on a dash. Now after having all two mounts set up, I ran a few tests comparing each mount between each other, seeing which one was more stable. Now, unfortunately the vent mount was the only one that was always moving, chicken around whenever I make turns or go over speed bumps, and there have been a couple of times where I actually fell off the dash. I haven't experienced this on the other windshield mount. As you see, it'll remain perfectly flat and stable throughout the entire drive. But the other mount definitely needs stronger magnets because under load, it will easily drop the phone. So in conclusion, if I had to choose between one of these mounts, if I was in the market for a wireless charger mount, I will probably pick this one over this one. This one gives you a bunch of trouble and can be a headache. And this one, it's better than engineered compared to that one. It has an easy release button right here that releases your phone by one press. And the padding that goes around ripping your phone is nicely padded. I don't see it being an issue to cause scratches or damages to your phone in the future. But that's going to be the end for this video. Once again, thank you DLCA for providing us these two products to review. 
and give you guys my thoughts and opinion about them. So, if you guys like this kind of content, don't forget to smash that like button. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe while you're down there. And, as always, hope to see you guys on the next video. Don't worry, the next video will be exciting. So, until next time, peace. Thank you.